Uh, my name is Marko Radeta. I drew origin from Belgrade, Serbia, formerly uh, Yugoslavia. And uh, I've been uh, privileged to complete my bachelor degree in uh, engineering informatics. So there are three application areas of my research interests. Therefore, three core projects, if you will. On land, on the oceans, and connecting them both through the air, if you will. At the moment, there are no any kind of interactive applications being created on the oceans. So we are speaking of tourism sector, of whale watch watching uh, applications, uh, and there are no uh, interactive uh, projects being developed in, in uh, these settings. So one project in particular called Poseidon is a passive acoustic monitoring system where you can gather the underwater acoustics and vocal calls of cetaceans and then distribute them to the boats, uh, to the mobile phones of the tourists. What we research there is how much the tourists will be aware of the ocean concerns and whether this system can be feasible enough. Uh, it's basically whale watching uh, becoming whale listening, if you will. The second project is on the land called Large Scale, it's FCT funded project, where we are again fo focusing on analyzing tourism migration flows uh, on, the, on Madeira Island. What we are interesting uh, to, to find out is if we can use specific predetermined points of interest at the location, uh, at specific uh, Madeiran locations, and can we use those locations to motivate tourists to go there by foot? So. Ideally, this will be using augmented reality technologies where tourists will have an adaptive user interfaces on their mobile phones at these locations. Ideally, this can grow into small businesses where local arts and crafts can uh, start to grow, which means that there could be a potential impact on blue economy. So raising the, the lo what's local and becoming more popular. The final project uh, on air, Umbrella, uh, we can call it that way, is using the LoRa protocol. LoRa protocol is a long-range communication uh, protocol using radio, uh, and it's based on 868 megahertz. Why is it interesting? It's because it's fully open, so uh, what we can do with it is transmit any kind of media, acoustics or images found in the ocean settings and then ideally using those uh, radio uh, communication technologies we would gather all the acoustics, all the images of cetaceans out there in the wild, bring them to the shore. Why? Because not everyone today can afford to uh, go for the whale watching trip. 